Okay, what we wanted to show here was some calves uh, that were fed different feeding systems and what their rumen development would be at six weeks of age. So we have one calf that was fed milk only um, up to six weeks of age, and we have one calf that was fed milk and free choice forage, in this case hay, and then we had a third calf that was fed milk and free choice grain. But what I, what I want people to see with this is, is how thin and undeveloped this rumen is. I mean, you can see my blue gloves right through here. Uh, this was a calf that was only fed milk, and you virtually have no rumen development there at all. Uh, there's no muscle development, and there's no papillae development. It's just really, really very sparse. So volume-wise, you've got a pretty good volume of this rumen, but there's just no muscle and no papillae. This was a calf that was, again, about six weeks of age and was being fed milk and hay. And virtually, when you look at the rumen development and the papillae there, it is no different than what the first calf was that was fed only milk. Uh, there's just no development there whatsoever. The only thing you can see in this one quite well is a muscle development. So this rumen had a probably large amount of, of hay in it, which was a lot of weight that it had to move around, and so it's, it's definitely developed this musculature and just, that's real thick. And that is part of rumen development, uh, which they get with anything being in there having extra weight. So whether it be hay or whether it be grain, it, it's uh, producing a lot of muscle in there. But no, no real development. In fact, it's very, very thin. You can see the gloves right through there. Now this one is a much smaller rumen, so it was a much smaller calf. Um, and this calf was getting milk and grain. And what we like to be able to see is a lot more papillae development. Uh, this calf really isn't indicative of a of a six-week-old calf, it's much more like you'd normally expect about a three, three-week-old calf, but it still has more development there. I'll try to turn this sideways and see. So you can see it's not smooth. There's definitely papillae growing there, but it's not nearly as pronounced as I wish it had been for a six-week-old calf. Uh, we've got the, the, the reticulum is much more developed than either of the other two. Uh, it's smaller in size, but again, it's got some good muscle development there, which is, is a result of having extra weight in there. Um, it's just not quite as well developed as we'd expect for a, a normal six-week-old calf. Um, the point that we're trying to show here is that rumen development is, is a critical thing for that calf, and the easiest way to develop the rumen of a calf is to feed grain and it's because the starch is digested differently than forage is or milk and so getting grain into that calf is going to develop the rumen getting forage into the calf is not going to develop it nearly as fast and getting only milk into the calf is going to do nothing in terms of rumen development uh, we want to have rumen development so that we can get that calf weaned and starting to eat lots of forages and grow fast on hopefully more inexpensive feeds.